The year was 1913. Woodrow Wilson was president, and powerful banking interests, who had been trying for years, finally achieved their long-term goal of a silent coup d'etat by taking control of the American government. The first thing they did to accomplish their takeover was convince Secretary of State Philander Knox to lie to the American people and tell them that the 16th Amendment, the Income Tax Amendment, had been legally ratified by the states when it was not. The bankers knew that this tax would ultimately end up in their pockets. Because of this fraud, the American people were led to believe there was now a tax on their labor. Congress and the President are completely aware of this fraud, and it was even cited in a recent court case. That very same year, the bankers committed their second and by far the most diabolical fraud ever perpetrated on the American people by bribing senators to pass the Federal Reserve Act without the required constitutional amendment. All in favor say aye. They did this during Christmas vacation, where many senators were home celebrating their holidays with their families. And that's how the unconstitutional Federal Reserve Act came into being. They were very clever, and they understood that whoever issued the money for America would control the government. The bankers won, and the American people lost, because most politicians will sell their soul for a dollar. And now the Federal Reserve could issue dollars legally. As Mayor Rothschild said, give me control of a nation's money supply, and I care not who makes its laws. He knew that he and the other bankers would now control the laws of the nation. Government gave these bankers one of its most important powers and now had to borrow money from them and pay interest to finance the government. So the American people were forced to lower their standard of living and pay a graduated income tax to the government just so the government could give these bankers more profits. President Woodrow Wilson, who signed the Federal Reserve Act into law, later said, in regret. I am a most unhappy man. I have unwittingly ruined my country. A great industrial nation is now controlled by its system of credit. We are no longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinion and duress of a small group of dominant men. The Federal Reserve was created by Congress in 1913, and it was entrusted with the power granted originally to the Congress by the U.S. Constitution to coin money and regulate the value thereof. What's your name? Jan Crafting. Hi, Jan. I'm Aaron Russo. I produced the movie Trade. Is this a joke? No, no, that's not a joke. No, 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 no. I produced the movie Trading Places with Eddie Murphy and The Rose with Bette Midler, many movies, and I'm doing a feature film. And uh, my film is about my quest to find out whether or not people pay income taxes. Do you pay an income tax? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. Have you ever seen a law that requires you to pay an income tax? Have I ever read it? Do you mean in the page, black and white? No, yeah. no. So you pay the income tax, I assume? Uh, of late. Well, actually, no, I didn't file last year, but... Uh, okay. I'm sorry, is this on film? No, I paid my tax. My question to you is, have you ever seen a law that says you have to pay an income tax? The law 
law is that guy that wears that badge and a gun. That's the one that puts you in jail. That's the law. Actually, I can't stand the IRS. Okay. They're right. evil. Okay. Do you have any fear of the IRS? Um, not, not really, because I'm Canadian. I think it's actually unconstitutional, is what I've heard. Right. But, um, but to avoid any hassle, I pay it. If there was no law and I wasn't afraid of them coming and taking me to jail, absolutely, I wouldn't pay taxes. Okay, then no, I wouldn't pay income taxes. <laughs> oh. It's a no-brainer. You wouldn't pay I it. wouldn't pay it. Why would anybody? Because, they, you know, that's, that's what they tell us we must do, else we're bad Americans. Would you pay it? No. Would you pay it? No. So Why would you pay taxes if you don't have to? What if I told you that the, all your money that the income tax pay, that's paid into the income tax, just goes to pay the interest on the national debt. That's incredible. That's yeah. truly incredible. I thought it was for infrastructure and all the other stuff. The income tax is not legal because it would be a direct tax and it is not apportioned as the Constitution demands. If it's against the Constitution, then why are we doing it? I really expected that, of course, there's a law that you can point to in the law book, the code, that requires you to file a tax return. Of course there is. I mean, I don't know what it is right then as, we, as he was speaking to me, but sure. So naively, I agreed to go off and research it and get back to him. Three and a half months later, I was at that point where I couldn't find the statute that clearly made a person liable, uh, at least not me and uh, most people I know. And I had no, no choice in my mind except to, to resign. I had to leave the IRS because I presented uh, evidence that I had accumulated indicating that the agency was violating the law and violating people's rights. And I asked the agency for a response to my sincere concerns. And the answer I got was that they would not respond to my concerns and that they would uh, provide me with the paperwork necessary to tender my resignation. But we, the People Foundation for Constitutional Education, put a full-page ad in the USA Today on July.